What are we looking at time wise? We got 20 minutes. Okay, let's do the news. Come on down. Okay, so Kara isn't here today because her kid is sick. So I recruited someone from the. Uh, you want to sit over there? I changed my mind. You. That camera's better because this looks darker. It's time for Get Social News. Get we Social go. News is Get what it is. News. So Kara, yeah. Kara, uh, I guess her kid is sick. She, I got an email yes. from her last night, three thirty in the morning, that Kara is not feeling well. So she's hungover. She and she's <laughs> hungover from the ninety-nine cent margaritas from. Um, oh, that's, that's tonight, tonight, not last that's night. Tonight. No, she, I got an email from her three thirty. What happens in the if she shows up tonight at the at the uh, benefit? Then we'll know she's a liar. Dun 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 dun. No, we won't. No, she's a liar. Okay. No, she's got a sick kid. And 3.30 in the morning, you get an email from somebody saying, we won't be on the radio show tomorrow means that we won't be on the radio show tomorrow. So I asked uh, one, one of our studio audience members to come on the show and read the news. She, she has a background with broadcasting, so we thought yes. we'd bring her on the show I real do. quick. So uh, it, this is Diana Featherstone. Hi. Welcome Hello. to the show. Surprise news yeah. person, news neighbor. News Ninja. News Ninja. News Ninja. <laughs> oh, I Way like that. Than news yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ninja. We're not even allowed to say what it's better oh. than because that other thing that we said, I got in a lot of trouble yeah, for. Not so good. The thing that we said before, we're not allowed to say anymore. Okay. But I like News Ninja. So what we did is we had a little bit of news for Kara yeah. to read, which since she's not here, we're going to let Diana read that and then we're going to do the weather. All right. I think that's the way we'll work it. Welcome to the okay. show. Thank you. Thank you for Thank coming you. on. I know Good it was a last here. second thing. Mm -hmm. And thanks yeah. for sitting in our studio audience today. That's exciting. Yeah. Awesome. Ooh. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Okay, you ready? So we've got, uh, you did your news intro segment. And yes. now we're going to talk about the stuff that's on Tip News Daily, which is the online newspaper that Mike runs oh, okay. um, at twos tipnews.com. Normally we go over like the top three news stories top that are the most, news stories. most popular from the past week. Is it's that right, Mike? Yeah, it's based on the hits. The Based on the number of people that read the article right. is... That that's what this list is. So. Yes, there oh, okay. you go. See, so yeah, this is new. This is a yeah. surprise. We're making oh, it up I as can, we go. I can handle it. I can. Yeah. We're making okay. it up as we go. Well, okay. I thought Mike might read this part, but I'll, we'll, no, we'll go ahead and let you do no, it. Please. It to yes, me. I know. So go right ahead. Me. The story. Okay. All right. Yeah. The story. What is their problem? Is Tip City anti-business submitted this week by D. R. Atchison? Atchison. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. At is the most popular news in Tip City this week. And yeah. let's see. There we go. And then, uh, so that, what is that? Is that the one about the sign That's or is that about the mural? One. Is that about the mural? Let's see. It's the mural one. Okay. So, so the sign, this story is the one about the mural yeah. winning the appeal for against the city is that right yeah let me let me anyway for yes. folks who don't know there's a mural here in tip city that's been the subject of what years of litigation the city says that it's inappropriate and advertising and the people who own it say mm -hmm. no it's not and they took them to court to stop the city from forcing them to remove it and it's been through several iterations and then the last one that just came back last week was that right. the, it that the court decided to rule with the defendant correct that it's not an advertisement it's a piece of art and correct. is allowed to be retained correct that's the current is that this is that's that what we're talking yes. about okay. yeah and so you know the i guess the question then is is that do these types of articles are they are, is it pos right no i mean the, the whole idea to go in and make these you know these types of news stories public and mm -hmm. right mechanics and bring this news out is to um share news with the community mm -hmm. right and mm -hmm. if we're if we're doing that Right. Basically, we're sharing information now. It's kind of, you know, it's not so good, right? I mean, is it? What do you mean? It's not so good for the city? Or well, not so as good? far you as mean it's you know, negative. Is it? Is it? Is it good? It's news. People need to know. It about is. It. it is news. Correct. But is it? Is it? You know, does it do us any disservice to go in and speak negatively about business growth in our city because then that can impact us negatively? But if it's true, then. Maybe we can do something about it. Right. Right. Well, right. It's, yeah, it's a news story that yeah. the city has been denied this action. Right. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that that's bad for business, that the city is is working against businesses to take down this kind of stuff. Is that or, what you're saying? Or just just the act of sharing that information out. Right. Letting oh, people okay. know about it. Right. You know. So to your point, I no, I mean the you can do something about it, but in the same stroke, you're talking about you know, going and airing the dirty laundry. Mm -hmm. right. You're you're going and publicly saying, 
okay, this is this is something that really needs to be taken a look at, and we're just kind of like laying it out here for the public to purview. But then, you know, then we a absolutely have to have somebody that comes along and says, okay, let's fix this. Well, it's like last week's show when we talked to them about the sign code. Mm -hmm. I think everybody understands that the sign code is a piece of legislation that was written by people and that it should be reviewed every once in a while and, cha and may mm -hmm. change. Right, right. It's not a, it's not a affront to any one mm -hmm. particular person that this, is, that this information has come back. I don't think that's a bad thing. Okay. I don't think it's anti-business. I think framing the city as being anti-business is a bad thing. Okay. I don't think that's what this means. I think the sign code may dissuade certain businesses from putting up certain signs, and it makes mm -hmm. businesses work harder to put up signage. Right. And that may to be, meet and that may be bad for business. So maybe that's an opportunity for the city to review. Which it, it, right. it sounds like that's what they're doing. Exactly. The exactly. sign code is, and that's the other piece of news that came up this week mm -hmm. is the travel lodge or the Holiday Inn. That's again right. the mm -hmm. same, same sign code, different problem. Right. So maybe this is telling the city folk, this is a problem which they already know, mm -hmm. and it needs to be revisited, which they're already doing. Right. And so I don't think it's bad for business. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it's good. Right. What do you think, Mike? Is it bad for business? No, I, I I just wanted to kind of bring that out there to kind of illustrate the article. And you do you know, think it's art? There's a lot of commentary. Do you, think it's do you think it's a mural or do you think it's advertising? Personally, I hear all this from all the people. Personally, personally? I don't I don't care for it uh, from an artistic point of view, mm -hmm. but I don't have any problem with somebody going and doing that. I is mean, it an advertisement their, for their business? It is their building. Is it an advertisement? I don't think so. I could be I could I could be swayed either way that it is an advertisement for their business, but I think right. it's I like it. I think it's interesting, and I think right. it's better than having a blank wall. That's right. not in the sign code that right. you know if somebody likes this better than a blank wall, it gets to stay. It's difficult. God right? forbid, who knows what people. No, I mean you you look at Chuck E. Cheese, right? No, I mean they, <laughs> they they paint balloons. You don't want that. Yeah. You don't want right. that. Yeah. <laughs> but if they say this is okay, then that open. I can see why the city right. clamped down on it because it could open the floodgates and we could have murals all over town, and not all of them would be interesting or appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> like all the spray paint murals down in Dayton. Well, yeah. No, I'm not talking <laughs> graffiti. I'm talking advertisements for businesses because uh, yeah. that's obviously you need a business to fund that. That's an expensive thing to do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't just go out there and do that. Well, but it fits the business. Like, it, you know, the look of it fits the business. Right. And it it's fits kind the of business. both. I mean, it is. It does market their business, but right. in a creative, creative way. It's a business and advertisement. Right. I think it's clear yeah. that it is an advert. I think it's clear that it's an advertisement for their business. I think it's an interesting angle and a new way to advertise their business mm. without putting their... Uh, if they put their logo on the right. side with their phone number, it would have obviously been. Yes. So they're, what they're doing is they're looking at the sign code and they're going, how can we work around or with it sure. to do something interesting? Sure. And I think that's what's going to happen when you have a poorly written sign right. code, which they know it's a problem and they right. know they're going to And going, we do that in everything, it. right? No, I mean, the, the, you know, we've got the new, you know, the, the new Tip City logo that's got the mum on it and stuff, right? No, the I mean, mum. We're advertising the mum festival, at, you, know, even, you know, even throughout, right? It's part of what the city is. And, you know, Chuck E. Cheese, you know, they have balloons and streamers and stuff like that. They're advertising, you know, it doesn't, say, it doesn't have to say that. It just mm -hmm. has to say, this is a fun place for kids to go, right? And so I think, yeah, the, the crazy professor... Uh, does it have to do with racing products? No, but it kind of in the same vein, right? No, I mean a Has little bit. the same bit. feel for right. you know if you're into speed on and the into, edge. you know Nitrous checking and out your car stuff, and yeah. stuff. Yeah, on the yeah. edge. Yeah, but I mean th it's the problem with any kind of city that has any kind of codes about what people are allowed to do. Right. You know me, you're cool with me. If I put a 40 mm. foot robot on top of my store, I would you love it. would like it. <laughs> a lot of people would not. Right. And uh, it would yeah. be completely inappropriate and change the character of the downtown and not be a good fit. Yeah. So somebody's got there's got to be if rules it had big about red eyes that and with smoke lasers that came out, out and they cooked. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> that would be bad. But, I mean, I understand why we need rules, and, and we need people to interpret them. Yes. So everybody just needs to there you go. work together. What was the number two story? The number two. I actually read this article, and I really liked it. The Wickedness of Missing Wicked by Mike Woody. Oh. And that was in second place. That was the second most popular yeah. story. Yeah. I love Wicked. God, that was such a good show. See, now you're making Mike feel bad again. <laughs> <laughs> why? 
Because he didn't see it. Mike He's not Woody. going. Yeah, Mike Woody. Oh, I didn't read the article. Yeah. Oh, see, so, no, yeah. It's all about everyone talking about Wicked and. He didn't get to see it. He's yeah. not. Yeah, he's not going to it see was, it. So it feels Mike, like he's it was missing really out. really good. It was really, really good. Mike you Woody. Missed out, Mike Woody. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> That's the second time I've seen it, and it was really good. I love Wicked. I could watch that over and over again. It's so good. My wife has a soundtrack, and we play it all the time in the house. So the it's Wicked good. Do you sing with it? it I. No, I don't sing with it, but I've <laughs> heard tell of people who do sing. <laughs> That's a great show. If anybody can, uh, I don't know, how, w- how would you catch it now? Is it out? You have to is go it follow it. it gone? It's over. Do they have like a movie version of it? Or is no. there like a like recording of the Broadway? And there's a book you can read. I mean, it's based I, uh, on a book. Uh, you didn't like it? Uh, I like the book. Uh, Scary. Well, then you like you like Kill Bill. So. Yeah, I do. Well, there you go. Psycho. <laughs> oh, no, I'm a pursuer. Uh, <laughs> she's a pursuer. <laughs> she's like, if I say I don't like it, she's gonna say na 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 and continue talking. That's yeah. that's a pursuer. No, I didn't like the book because I thought it was scary and creepy. But it had, it was really creative and very yeah. inventive, and I enjoyed I enjoyed the fact that I read it, and mm-hmm. I thought I got a lot out of it. But it was a little scary. But it was a great musical. Anybody who gets a chance to see Wicked, go see it. It's great. And then I have tickets to the Aluminum Show, which is tomorrow night. I just, it looks cool. It does look yeah. cool. People in like li- aluminum, aluminum tubes foil walking and around. Yeah. Do, do, do. Where is that from? It's from like. It's from. It's from some other country, right? I thought Israel. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Who knew? Who we're knew? all we're all supposed to bring aluminum foil to the show, and they're going to build a big ball mm-hmm. during the show, and then they'll donate it. They'll donate it and donate the proceeds to Habitat for Humanity or something like that. It's true. <laughs> really? It's, yes, it was in the article <laughs> I'm today. Like I'm, I'm, like, I'm, for s- the I'm like, I'm supposed I'm to bring for aluminum the foil. Line. Does uh, it still have cheese on it, or do they want the cheese the cheese off of the aluminum foil? The I don't proceeds know. of the aluminum foil ball? They're going to put a giant they ball together. Then they're going to s- they're going to get it melted down, oh, and okay. the money from it's going to go to... Aluminium? Aluminium. So I'll let you know how that show went. Thank you. Maybe I should be writing reviews for the Tip News. You know, that would stuff. be crazy. You know, there is a section uh, for it. For God's sake. I know. You know, I'm, I'm busy. I, I'm busy. This morning, I'm busy writing articles for the new paper. Running around like an idiot. Yeah. Doing all kinds of stuff. Mm-hmm. I got too much on my plate. Mm-hmm. You've got a lot of fans out here. Looks like. Uh, Car- I don't have any fans. Uh, Carol likes hearing you and seeing you on TV. Who's that? Are you talking to me or Diana? I love her. Are you Car- talking to Diana or me? Kara says hi. Hi, Kara. We miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Woody says hi. Nobody's writing me in the chat room. <laughs> Damn it. I was just sitting there minding my own business. <laughs> I'm know. sorry. You, you got, <laughs> she got pulled against her will out of being the, roped in. Yeah, talk about that. That's good. All right, what's the third story? Number third. Okay, ba- Number third. <laughs> Boehner to speak at Miami <laughs> County Convention. Boehner. 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 Yes. Boehner. Boehner to speak at Miami County Convention. What's Tell me about this, speaking about? Mike. Yeah, because I don't know anything about this. Oh, Tell it's me the Miami County Convention. That's how, that's how the Republicans, Republicans? kind of pick their... Pick their platform and stuff like that. Convention of what? It's a convention. <laughs> he could be it's interested a, in other things. A, a, he doesn't have to a just be a Republican. A philatelist. Yeah, stamp collectors. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was going to say, I, that was not on the top of my mind. No, it wasn't. Stamp collecting. That's my that go, must be that's the word of the day. To, that's my go-to hobby. Goodbye, studio audience. Bye, studio audience. Thank you for coming. You. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> All right. Philatelist. Philatelist. That's the word. Yes, that doesn't sound. It sounds good. completely bad. <laughs> yes. So why is Boehner speaking at the Miami County Convention? He's just coming there. He's okay. When is it? There. It's the twenty-first. Okay. Yeah. And he's going to talk to other Republicans. Yes. Got it. Okay. That's what it is. That's the third no- That's most. That's the third most story. popular. Now I did a bad job of getting the news mm. together, Mike. This week I didn't pull it together because okay. last night I was working on my article. Okay. But I did happen to have a, a, the latest issue of Tippecanoe News. Published by our city. Published by our city Canadians. in my bag. So uh, Diane's going to run through a couple quick stories on that. All right. The first one is breakfast with the mayor. <laughs> mayor D. Gillis invites all residents to have breakfast with the mayor on Thursday, March 18th at 8 a.m. at the Tip City Library. Wow. Now, I went, what do they serve at the breakfast with the mayor? I don't know. Is what do you decent? get? Mm. Like, is it? Can I just go and it's like is it like going to see Willy Wonka? I mean, do they? Is there a room full of chocolate? Or how does <laughs> it work? <laughs> Is there dancing and singing and then a, then a squirrel? Talking about the little mayor. Is Mark the Oompa Loompa? Do 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 really <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. So D. Gillis is the mayor, so she would be wearing the big hat. Oh, yes. Right? Yeah. So Mark's yeah. the one dancing around and singing, I think, about TV. 
I don't know. It may be like a story story lady kind of time where she sits in the middle and she tells us all, all the story. kids. So all the adults, all sit the adults on the floor sit around, around the floor. them. Yeah. 